We now return to Let's Play Postmaster. Okay, just check it. Alright, so we are whittling away at the last stronghold of the computer. There's no way I'm going to sort through all of those. I'm considering buying a larger office here. Um, not for deliveries, not to expand the business or anything like that. Although it would include some more and then I could expand that. But no, I want that just so I can have more sorters because otherwise we are in some severe trouble here. Well, let's get the day started. Okay. Well, honestly, I don't really know what to do. We've sort of expanded here as far as I can go. We've got the various vehicles going out doing everything they need to be doing. Um, aside from just having a transfer vehicle between these two, I, I had that though and that was causing the problem. Um, but I need, somehow I need these two to share the burden because I could use that one. Hmm. Well, you know, the offices here don't necessarily have to be centralized. I could just use this one as that central office. The problem is, though, it's not being just a pure distribution hub. It is also uh, using vehicles to go and uh, distribute. But we apparently have enough room here, and especially because it's only you know taking up this half of it. Maybe I could do that instead. Maybe I should just sell all this and have this, the uh, distribution. It would have enough to pick up on its own, and I could use the spare slots as a, dis as a distributor. And then if I got another office here, I would still have enough for that, and I would have a slot open for the priority vehicle. So I would have my th three transfer vehicles and a priority vehicle. And, and these ones still have open slots in their delivery routes. I think I may have to do that. If this doesn't empty out, and it's not, because it didn't last time, we still had about 300, and it's only getting worse now, so... Uh, yeah, I think we'll have to do that, actually. I think we'll have to get rid of that little one. And with that in mind, that may mean we have to do the same here. Um, if I get rid of that one and just go for a large one here... But see, this one will be down by itself, covering everything on its own. There won't be any overlap, and so I may not have all the slots available. I'm assuming it'll have 12, and, uh, let me see here, just, yeah, that goes out to 3, so that's a huge, huge area to cover. We would probably need at least 3 of each to cover it all the 14 slots possibly I don't know I'm not doing the math in my head right now but that sounds about right so that may have to be how we do it um, unfortunately that would cost me I mean it would have been a huge waste of money basically because I would have had all these expensive vehicles that I could only sell for about 75% what I got back. Or maybe two-thirds. It's not even midday though, we'll have a hundred thousand. Uh-oh. More expansion. Whose range is that? It's not in anybody's range actually. Yeah. Dang it. It's gonna be right out of range. Same over here. Well, dang. You know, if I got rid of this office and turned it into a large office, 
I think I was discussing this with myself in the last episode, wasn't I? Getting rid of that, and then I would have the enormous... I would have two large offices that may have to be how I'd handle this. Uh, okay. So this, this will go till day 51. I still got six days on this. Um, hopefully the increase in business will be enough to put the computer out of business before I really have to start thinking about this. Is that a good location? Well, yes. But again, I think I wanted it here so I could have the overlap. But uh, we, we don't seem to be having the problem here. So... I think it is just going to come down to replacing these distribution offices. It's the only way I can see to handle it. And then we got to get something down here, because that's a whole sector. Well, if I got an office there, that would cover the whole thing. Right? Well, not quite. It would cover most of the whole thing. Leave this little strip out here empty. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Let's put this up. Still a lot of letter demands. Uh, letter delivery ma demand, that is. Uh, a little bit of pickup demand, but it's mostly delivery demand. And I think that's what I was being faulted on in one of these things. This is the queue. Uh, where is... This is delivery time. This is more transfer vehicles, though. This isn't uh, delivery vehicles. Oh, ouch. Ouch. The computer's not getting any stars and is down to 600 letters in its competition statistics. Not that I care, mind you. Let's speed this up a bit, otherwise I'm never going to get through two days. Still got a thousand unsorted letters. A thousand packages and such to get... Well, not packages, but letters. And, uh... A hun <coughs> hundred packages waiting to go out. We transferred a bunch for some reason. What? Oh, because it's the end of the shift. Alright. Well, let's see then how many they take out. They brought back a bunch. We now have 3,000. 152, but that's only the beginning of the shift. There's still 400 here waiting to be transferred. So the next time they go out, they'll pick that back up. Did I change these to... Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I think I changed their scheduling again, didn't I? Once at the beginning, once at the middle, yeah, I did. Because I thought they were going too, too slow. Well, we'll wait. We'll see how much this second shift does, how much it takes out. Um, Any time. Yeah, I, I think that is the better choice. We're gonna have to knock this out and turn this into the hub, the distribution hub, because it has the capacity for it and we don't have to worry about it. We've got the money to do so. I can buy four more vehicles. Especially after I sell everything. Oh, jeez. So, even though... Yeah, damn it. Even though last time it took all the delivery stuff out, it's not counting that now. I actually have to begin delivering here. That's just not going to cut it. Okay, well... So much for that experiment. I'm still feeling out the game, you know. That kind of happens when a new game comes out that nobody has played. I mean, I'm playing this before anyone else can actually play it, except for all the other people who got review copies. So there's absolutely nothing out there for me to base and judge on. Base my decisions on, I mean, should have finished the sentence. Okay. 
So, not that one, not that one. <clears throat> uh, this, this is what I wanted to see. Okay, they are breaking down their deficiency. Their defaults are increasing. Deficiencies, no. Their <laughs> efficiency is going down for them. They have nothing. I win. I win. I... I win. They're gone. What? Okay. Well, um... Go, go! Did, did this go out? I clicked on it. Where's my... Where's my bike? Where's the bike? Send him out. Okay, well, uh... I guess I'll just go to the end of the day here and see if anything else uh, shows up. Go ahead and pay attention to this. I, for whatever reason, um, no, 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 no. Didn't mean to click on you. I meant to drag around. This distributor office as well. I guess I can see at the end of the day. Um, yeah. Well, if the game doesn't end uh, at the end of the day here, then. I guess it just goes into sandbox mode. Now is that within my range of it? Nope. So I would have to increase this, I think, to a large one. I should definitely do... Oh my goodness. Well, if I got it right here, it would get everything. Well, not technically everything, but pretty much everything here. So I have no no competition. Nope, not that one. This one. No competition. Maybe it's the end of the week? End of the week competition statistics? It would uh, tell me if I've won or lost? Because, I mean, it's still holding on to some things, like the computer still has reputation here, despite the fact that... Oh! We've got a new thing done. What was that? My money bonus. Okay. Well, let's wait until the end of the week, see if we get enough stars, because we will, right? We'll, we're get, looking at getting 45, so we'll get 100 new bonus stars. We'll see what that third city does. Um, so I guess I'll just sort of sit here and let the game run. Actually, no. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out, and I'll cut back to, uh, when it's done. Maybe? Should I do that? Well, I guess we'll find out. Alright, here. It's, uh, moment of truth. I haven't done anything. I've just been sitting here letting, holy crap, uh, letting the game run. Huge problems in backup. Bunch of dead letter offices now. But uh, I've made quite a bit of money, and here we are. 30, 38. I only made 38? Oh, come on. I guess I let it slip too much, and it only gave me 38. Well. Damn it. I was really hoping to get that bonus star thing. I'm not going to wait a whole nother week to get it done. So I guess we will never know what in fact it really does. But, uh, okay, now that the week's flipped over, it tells me, well, it's just faulting me on the whole delivery thing now. Um, but yeah, still hanging on to this. I, I guess we're done. No victory screen, no nothing. We're just sort of left to play to our heart's content. But uh, I think that's enough. So, that was Postmaster. A surprisingly decent game. I actually had quite a bit of fun with this. Uh, a few things could make it even better, though. For one thing, uh, a victory screen would have been nice. You know, even if it just popped up saying, hey, you won. 
would you like to continue playing or go back to the menu, you know, something like that. Uh, another nice little touch would be to give the computer opponent an actual company name rather than just calling it computer, even if it was just something generic like Universal Postal Company or something. You know, that little touch would have helped the immersion rather than just mousing over and saying, oh, computer, you know. I also would like to see some more specific or helpful tool tips for some of the things you can upgrade in your offices. You know, I'd, I would like to know exactly how they affect my bottom line and what they do in the game. Other than that, the gameplay I thought was pretty solid. I mean, I didn't really encounter any issues or bugs or anything like that. Things that I thought might be bugs was basically just due to my own stupidity. Having said that, I do think the game is a little limited. As I was playing this, I kept comparing it to Transport Tycoon. And Transport Tycoon has a lot of variety to it because, you know, all the maps are completely randomly generated and there are multiple computer players. This game, you are limited to the one map, and even though the block generation is random, you still have basically the main three sections. Your section up at the top, the suburbs to the left, and the computer to the right. Uh, some more map variety, and possibly larger maps with smaller towns maybe, might be something that uh, I think would add more replayability to it, and on top of that, adding maybe more computer players. Coming in against an already established opponent and just trying to beat it can be really repetitive if you do this multiple times, so I think by adding multiple computers at possibly different stages, like if you start on easy, you know, all the other computer players might start at zero, just like you, and so it's a race to the top. Whereas, if you had it hard, then you might have a couple computers that were already well-established and some others that were, uh, you know, coming up along with you. That would add a bit more gameplay variety, and if you entered in more computers, I think it would be an easy transition then to also add multiplayer to the game. I think this would be a fun game to play against other people. Um, obviously, the way they set up the game, I think, was by design, you know, that it, it served the purpose that the developers wanted. But, uh, you know, if they were to do a sequel to this game, then I definitely think adding in multiplayer would help it, because that is really what makes a game like Transport Tycoon shine, is that, you know, you can just play sort of 1v1, but by adding more players, more complexity to it, uh, y you add a lot more gameplay variety. You know, each game is genuinely different. But uh, I enjoyed this. I hope you did too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Let's Play.